now have your own book. What is going on? I don't know. Um, I think next is going to be world domination. <laughs> and I love the fact that you said bigger and better than the Bible. Did you like that? I love it. Right, so I was quite proud of myself because the whole book title I came up with in like about three minutes. I mean, I know it's a hard one, but you know how people are always like, like f thinking about it for so long, like what could it be, what could it be? Just fits, doesn't it? <laughs> and the whole bigger about the Bible, I came up with that too. Did you? Mm -hmm. So this is all your brainchild, this whole thing? Yes, the whole thing. But there's a lot of it that was, obviously I had a ghostwriter, Lucy Cave, and she was amazing. She like she had some really good ideas in the book, like the words of wisdom and stuff. But I, like, I'm quite proud to say that I wrote quite a bit of it too. Like all the words of wisdom I wrote myself, but I don't know how Lucy did it. I don't know how you actually can write a full book. <laughs> I just think it's so incredible. Does it feel surreal looking at your face on Paperback or hardback, whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't ever feel that surreal feeling. Like obviously, I had my face on a DVD too, didn't I? And it just <laughs> feels like I'm looking at a picture of myself. And what? There's just the biggest selling DVD like ever. I know. I mean, you are absolutely dumb. You are dominating the world. I hopefully, my book will go that way too. Do you know what made us think of right? Like mem memories are good, right? But you can't rem you can't remember them unless you actually sit down and have to sit hard and think about it. That's the only time you'll remember a memory, unless it's in a photograph that's on your wall and you see it all the time. So I'm actually quite glad I did it because I forgot about half of that stuff what's in the book. And now I'm remembering it and I'm remembering I've had some good times. Otherwise, if I didn't do the book, I would have just totally forgot about your past. It's making me want to write one, but I don't know who will read it. <laughs> <laughs> have you got people that are out there quaking in their boots, worrying about reading this book? I don't think so, no. Has anyone come off pretty bad from it? Not really. I don't, I'm not really nasty about anyone to be honest, I don't tell gossip on anyone either. Probably Gary a little bit but that's just expected and I don't think he's worried because he knows, he knows what I'm like, he knows he's going to get some grief in it. I opened the book and the first page I came to, the title was Parsnip and I was like, poor Gary. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a full chapter of grief. <laughs> Have you spoken to him about it as well? Uh, no, he just, we, we talked about it when we were filming last series because we literally just got out of film about two weeks ago. And he was like, um, so how are them, Charlotte? Do I get tortured? Oh, well, yeah, you know you do. And, oh, that's fine. And that was it. <laughs> I love that he's so relaxed about it. Because he just knows it's been four years now. It's all I ever do when I talk about was griefing. So what about exes and things like that? Anyone else in there? Well, me ex, me ex boyfriends, but me, no one knows who they are. <laughs> so like, I don't think anyone will be particularly that interested in them. It's when people, people want to know about the people who they've watched. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, there's ex boyfriends in there, but I like think people will find it funny. But I don't think anyone's going to like, oh my god. What surprises me is I, I'm quite a jealous person. I think people, new, new partners that you get, um, that you're with, perhaps you're still with me. Yes, yes, we're still um, together. Did he ever get jealous reading stuff, seeing you on TV, looking back at past episodes? I don't think he, he never he never mentioned that he was jealous. That's the thing that Mitch is very weird. Like he doesn't he doesn't give a lot away, and he certainly won't read me book because he he stays away from it. Like he won't put yourself in a situation where he's gonna feel like that so like if Mitch was to do a book and he'd been on telly with some girl and, the, and I knew there was gonna be a big section of it I wouldn't read that because I know what's gonna be there do you know what I mean so I think he's quite sensible and mature in that way he'll go to the sections that are about him and he'll skip everything else so you won't put that in you won't be put in that position oh, that's so, so you don't argue about jealousy and things like that mm, I argue with him about jealousy he, well, he just, he just get bothered when I go to Joy Shaw. He did used to, but now that's all changed. He's not like that anymore. I love the fact that he's just read the bits about him. He hasn't even done that. I sent him pictures of some snippets, and that was it. He's not even read the full Give thing. Give him a signed copy. <laughs> <laughs> and let's talk about Mitch quickly and the matching tat. Yes. Where, where no, he, he hasn't got one. He's not got one. Why has he not got one? Well, it was just, we didn't really plan to do it together. I got it randomly in Australia. Just randomly got it and surprised him with it. So it wasn't a thing where we were like, oh, you get one, I get one. I was a stupid person who just got one myself. Because Sheridan Smith just split up with her bloke and they got matching ones. Oh, see, but I would be glad if he had one too because then if that ever happened, then he would be in regret like me. <laughs> but I'm the only one who's got one. Tell but I'm reaction. I'd tell mine would be from your mum if we ever split up. <laughs> <coughs> so the M can be it and me Mom, it can be it. I love it. And uh, what was his reaction? What was his face like when you showed him? I didn't ask, was in Australia, so I had to show him on FaceTime. He didn't believe it was real for three weeks. 
So he thought it was just pen. I was like, why would I have not washed my arm for three weeks? It just doesn't make sense. And then he believed it when he saw everything and he loved it. Oh, did he like mm -hmm. it? That's so sweet. We've got to try and get a C on him somewhere. On his foot, I said. Because he hasn't got a tattoo. I said, but if you get it on your foot, then you won't ever see it. Really? Okay. Two C's would be great. So I can't believe. Yeah, one on each foot. C, I'll see. <laughs> Love it. Thanks so much, Charlotte. Love the book. Thank you. I'm sure it's going to be a massive, big seller like you do. Thanks, awesome. darling. Fingers crossed.